Hello friends, welcome back to the Stygian Estates. I'm working on a backlog right now. Uh, if you didn't see the last episode, I'm not going to ask you to go back and watch the whole thing. Honestly, I wouldn't watch the whole thing. Um, but it didn't end very well, and I ended the video by asking you guys what you wanted to see. Uh, if you wanted me to go back and do the courtyard, despite the fact it's completely kicking my ass and it might make me lose the whole Stygian run, or if you would rather see me just work through the game solidly. Um, I recorded that about 20 minutes ago. Obviously, it's not up on YouTube yet, so we're just going to be doing filler runs until that goes up. Because of my schedule, the fact I don't have any free time, I've talked about it at length. I do have to record a batch at once, something I've been very bad at recently, so... Um, in a few levels, whatever advice you give me, I'll start taking on board. Right now, we're just going to do some filler runs. We're just going to get our feet back under us, and hopefully... Hopefully make it to the darkest dungeon at some point in the next seven years. So I think I don't want to do a short mission. I do want to do a medium mission. Solar crown, meh, padlock of transference. Eh. It's not great. It's okay, it's not great. Solar crown again. Paralyzer's crest, it's a short mission. Bright town rune, don't really use the jester very much. Focus ring is probably not worth it. Five deeds. We'll do a medium apprentice mission. We'll get five deeds, and hopefully we'll end the mission by feeling a little bit better about ourselves. So, Mercer Bird, you are in. Plague Doctor in the Ruins is insane. I want to take a Crusader as well. We'll take Grontomaznil. <laughs> uh, we'll take a Vestal Healer. I want to take a Vestal. It doesn't really matter, quite honestly. We can take whoever we want. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I'm trying to find my Vestals. We can take Pistress. We can take Heriot. I don't really feel the need to use level 1 heroes very often, so let's check the stagecoach. See if we've got anyone else coming in. Oh yeah, Louis! Louis! Eculon! Bon noir! Uh, we want to get rid of Herrier. Beast Slayer, meaningless for a Vestal pretty much. Demonomania. You are gone, my friend. We'll take our Hellion here. Okay, so we'll take Louis. And we will take a, probably a melee or a stunner. Like a frontline stunner. Want to take a Hellion? Why don't we try out our new Hellion? Why don't we take Eculon? Stunrise stun set. Beautiful. Oh yeah, everyone here is a stunner. That's great. That's really, really strong. I don't want to be unlocking new skills, which is part of the reason that I'm taking more experienced recruits. We'll take Wicked Hack. We want to obviously want to take Barbaric Yop. Nothing bleeds. Yeah, well, we'll go with these four. These are the, the classic four Hellion skills that you really want with you. Hmm, okay, so we do have Plague Grenade and Blinding Gas, the two big ones. Noxious Blast, also pretty good. Rather have Disorienting Blast and Emboldening Vapors. And yeah, okay, you do not want Mace Bash, but everything else is perfect. Oh man, you guys. Oh, you're just going to cut through everything, aren't you? Beautiful, we can take it. Unlike Twisted Sister, but we do need to sell some trinkets right now. What do I want to sell? Ah, oh, this is this is tough. I've been selling a lot of trinkets lately. Hmm. Mm. Oh. Um. I don't know. I don't know what I want to sell. I guess the evasion incense is not very good. Eight dodge is quite a lot, but it's only going to get worse as time goes on. Kind of want to sell the atonement beads, but it might prevent me from getting them again in the future if I keep them. So maybe that's probably worth keeping. Okay. Okay. Uh, we will sell the Evasion Incense. There's almost always going to be better stuff going on. And we'll sell a Bloody Fetish as well, even though it's pretty okay. What about the Chip Tooth? No, the Chip Tooth is actually very strong, I think. Hmm. Alright, that's fine. We can we can deal with having 3,000 gold, I think. I oh, know, we'll, we'll lose one of the Scouting Whistles, of course. I can't believe I didn't spot that sooner. Yeah, 4,000 gold is absolutely fine. Everyone is doing okay. Let's get some trinkets on ourselves. So, Crusader. Yeah, the Holy Orders just aren't that good. Uh, especially in a place where nothing blights you and you don't get bled that often. It's just not particularly meaningful. I would rather you have the extra protection at the expense of some speed. You're probably going to be going last or close to last most of the time anyway. So the, the speed loss is no big, huge, huge loss really. So you can also have Dismas's head. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be okay. Our Hellion, you may have the Protection Stone. Again, 
The speed loss is more of a big deal with you because your speed is more middle of the road, so one speed is more likely to make a difference, but it's not going to be too much of a problem, I wouldn't have thought. And you can have... Do we want to go dark? I think we want to go dark, yeah, I think that's fine. We'll take the dark bracer. You, my plague doctoring friend. The dissection kit is not very good. I'd rather you had something to affect your blight or stunning. So we'll take the stun amulet. We only need one stun amulet. And we'll definitely take a dark crown, I think. And you're just going to have your basic healing trinkets. So. This should be pretty good, I think. I think we should be able to go through this like a hot knife through butter. I'm still not happy about what happened in the last episode. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Feel free to go back and watch it if you didn't, but... Honestly, you're not missing very much. Took a long time to get started, was very short. Pretty much just didn't go very well at all. We'll take a couple of blood just in case. And um, we will take two bandages. We've got a key, a couple of shovels. Take an extra shovel. Yeah, we good. Oh, we're, not, we're going dark, aren't we? That, that's absolutely fine. We'll take a lord in them instead then. Let's go. The undead will not bleed, but they can be blighted. You're not wrong, my friend. You're not wrong at all. Absolutely correct about that. Absolutely correct. Oh, dear. So this is, uh, this is a medium. I think it's a scouting mission. So 90% of rooms, I think. It's either that or room battles, right? It's got to be. Yeah, okay, it's scouting. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen rooms we need to go to. I mean, honestly, I didn't need to count them to know that, but we have to go to all except two of them, which means we do have to go left. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm moving, my friend. Okay, yeah, good start. <laughs> ten out of ten, would start again. We will, okay, yeah, here we are. I'll, I was going to say I'll dim the lights as soon as I find something which can benefit us. Oh, I didn't take any herbs. Arse. <laughs> All right, that one was my fault. <laughs> that one was definitely my fault. Herbs are actually surprisingly useful in the ruins. And yeah, we could have used them there as well. Not particularly important, but... Could have been a couple of thousand gold there. Finally, a, a real fight that isn't just a curb stomp one way or the other. To be fair, I mean, we did win the fight, the single fight, in the last episode. Can't complain too hard, right? Wanna stun you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Alright, well, I'll judgment you. Not quite the damage I was hoping for, but I did get the healing on, which is the important thing. Wanna break through? How much damage is it going to do? Yeah, it's going to kill it. Nice. Okay, definitely want to start using my Vestal as a full-time healer now. I can't be losing people now, man. I cannot be losing people. It's not okay. It's not acceptable. Alright, so... I can play Grenade again. What does that really do? It's strictly worse than stunning it, I think. If the maths checks out the way I believe the maths checks out, it's worse than stunning it. So I need to do five damage to you. Breakthrough should do that, hopefully. Maybe not. All right, that's fine. Obviously, it does debuff her damage, so it is much less certain that that was going to do an appropriate amount of damage, but that's okay. So, I think I just want to kill... Mmm, yeah. This is hopefully going to kill it. I've got like a 40% chance of killing it, I think. Nice. Alright. You may have noticed that I'm not as worried this time as I was before. I think we're going to be fine. Then again, I thought that in the last episode, too. Perfect layout to part of heal there. Really good throughput healing. No one needs healing more than anyone else, really, so... There are times when it's advantageous to treat, kind of treat everyone's health bars as one big health bar, formless flesh style. Rare. Um, but throughput is important, I think. I don't want you at all. Okay. Well, now we've scouted up here, we might as well see what's up here. 
Um, we got three shovels. I think it's probably fine to come up here. Everyone's in the right order, yeah. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Bent on preventing passage? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Okay, so we'll get credit for this room. We'll come back. We'll come up here. We'll probably camp in this room here, the kind of the central point of the dungeon from where all the three other paths kind of converge, I guess. Converge, by the way? Not my favourite band of all time. They're okay. I mean, certainly wouldn't uh, wouldn't want them playing my wedding necessarily. But not that I'm getting married. God, you sound like my mother. Random internet straw man. Okay. <laughs> I'm 27, all right. I'm an adult. I can do what I want with my own life. If that involves playing video games for the relative entertainment of strangers on a Saturday afternoon, then so be it, alright? Alright. Thank you, I'm glad you understand now, anyway. <laughs> Let's come up here. Oh, easiest fight of my life. You guys, I do not know what is going to hit you. Zero damage, that's what's going to hit you, apparently. They have relatively low speed. Yeah, that's divine comfort. Oh, beautiful. Everyone's at full almost. Very, very nearly. We're missing two HP altogether. I think we're going to be all right. Yeah. So too will resistance. Almost no stress. The only person with any notable stress is Mercer Burge. I don't really want to camp until I can use the food to its fullest because I brought enough of it. Oh my word. Loads of scouting. Lots of battles too. We'll come up here. Maybe this fight will wear us down a little bit. If not, then obviously that's great too. It will stun you. Murtaburge is probably the most important character in my line up right now. They're all really good in the ruins. Because realistically, the ruins is just really easy in general. Obviously it has its moments, but... You're going to be safer in the ruins with just a standard party of, like, two heavy hitters, a blighter, and a healer than you are anywhere else, I think. Okay. <laughs> I think we're all right here, boys. And girls, but statistically boys. All right, so it's... Need to do four damage to it. I'm just going to heal. I mean, maybe Judgment was the right play there, but... No, it wasn't. Oh, he has a speed of two. He's such a fast boy. What? What is that quirk? Uh, stress faster? No. Oh, Night Owl. Of course, yeah. Curl. I don't really want the Greaves, but they do sell for 750 gold. My chance of getting two more Citrons this run? We'll get rid of the Lord in them. All right, so we'll come up here and we will camp. And we will feast for eight. Uh, obviously, we don't get any benefit from the food for healing, but I'd, getting that stress down is really worth it to me. Um, nah, alright. You know what? We'll come up here, we'll come back, and then we'll camp. Because I really want to reduce stress as much as possible. I didn't check these guys' camping skills purely because I don't have any use for that, because I can't afford to get the new ones anyway. It's like going up to Argos and spending three hours flipping through the catalogue when it's the 22nd of December and you're broke. Like, you're not going to buy anything. Just go home and enjoy a day, you know? You guys have Argos in America? I'm guessing probably not. Do I want to break through here? Do I just want to Iron Swan and kill it? Hmm. Just using Iron Swan kind of makes my, uh, my last play kind of meaningless. I guess we Yorp. No, you know what? That's a terrible way of looking at things, but I think we Yorp anyway. Get yeah, that two for the price of one stun on. We'll play a grenade. Much better. And that does leave a corpse because the blight didn't kill it. The direct damage from the attack killed it. And you do have Holy Lance. Oh, okay. I thought I was going to get to use Holy Lance then. That's a shame. Um, Yeah, I just want to smite you, I think. Yeah. Get you killed on. Get you killed on, son. So another breakthrough here will kill rank 3, but rank 1 very close to death, probably. 
Nah, not that close. I guess I'll Noxious Blast. Then we can hit rank 2 and then maybe break through again. Yeah, it's not going to work out that way in terms of, of speed and how things actually play out. And to be fair, rank um, rank 3 is dead anyway, so... We'll just kill you. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure, that would have killed it in one hit, I think. But, but fine, I'm not salty. I sound salty to you, exactly. Don't worry about it. All right, and again, lovely. Oh, I do want everything here. Push on to the task's end. This is 750 gold. This is a stack of gold, which is more worth it, I think. I'm probably going to be able to fill out that stack. Um, I don't want to dump the food. I definitely want the deeds. I guess we dump the citrons. Yeah, that's fine. We will get that on the way back when we're going to be camping here. Because that is going to provide me a buff that lasts until camp, I think. There are two very similar curios, and I never remember which is which. One of them gives you straight-up stress relief, which is great. One of them um, gives you a buff that buffs your damage until you camp, so... No secret room? No secret room, unless it's here, in the one part that I haven't scouted yet. It's possible. And we will come and do this battle. Stashed heirlooms, that is what I like to see, even if they are crests. The first test. Now it must be carried home. Even if they are crests. Crests can be pretty good. And I think actually when I camp, I, I, can't, I now can't afford to camp for eight. Because I've been going through this food like anything. Been pretty unlucky with hunger checks. Probably a good thing that I didn't camp for eight. I've started just almost always taking all the food I can. So yeah, we have been pretty unlucky with that, but that's okay. Wanna yawp and stun these? I mean, at all times, yes. Is my Hellion meant to be in rank one? I thought I clicked this button, man. Thought I clicked it. Did I not click it? Thought I clicked it. Maybe I didn't click it. Is a rarity in the she just attacked someone and healed herself. That's not compassion, my friends. It's just not. Well, I'm, I'm as anti grammar Nazi as, as anyone else, but maybe I'm not, actually. Yeah, I don't know what I'm basing that assertion on, now I think about it. I think I'm just not. You've got to make your peace with that, you know? I like to think of myself as a descriptivist, but, you know, we all aspire to be what eludes us. I also, I also aspire to be a good YouTuber, but, you know, there we are. All right, well, Wicked Hack you. I'm not fishing for compliments. Go about your day. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Thousand golds and two citrons. All right, well, I was going to say we shouldn't have done that citron. That's not really how it works, I guess. Um, we don't want to use our key here because there might be a secret room. I'm holding out hope because it will be so, so good. Okay. That's fine. Hopefully we don't get ambushed on the way back. Yeah, okay. She should actually be in rank one, I think. Because uh, of Iron Swan. For some reason, I thought I'd put her in rank 1, but... My, uh... My game does not believe me. You know, the thing about computers, they do exactly what you tell them to. Whether you want them to or not. As a wise man once said, where does that quote come from? I've heard it before and I like it. I'm not going to claim ownership of it, of course, but... It's a good quote, I'll take it. And my game has just been hanging lately. It's ever since I installed it on an SSHD. I'm not sure I'm happy with it. Oh, the knight is in the bag, man. That's actually pretty scary. Uh, if you're very easily scared. Yeah, we will we'll eat till full so we can cope with two more hunger checks. I don't know if there's a maximum on the amount of hunger checks that are possible. I think there are, and I think we must be close to it. It might actually be the amount of food you can reasonably take minus eight for the camp is the amount of hunger checks you can max you can have at maximum. I don't know, though. I'm not going to put money on it. I'm not going to put this run on it. So, yeah, Battle Trance is obviously great. I do want Stress Relief, though. Self only minus 25% Stress. Encourage. We've got a couple of Encourages. The Hellion is not religious. The Leper is religious. Yeah, I guess we have to just Encourage. It's not ideal, really. We can Unshakable Leader. We can heal, we don't need healing. 
keeping pep talk. We don't really need that either. Either? Either? Are you an either man or an either man or woman? I don't know. I kind of flip-flop between them, you know? Ooh, reject the gods could be good, but it realistically means I'm just going to be putting everyone in stress relief and not just her. So I don't think we do it. We haven't really got any decent buffs apart from with the Hellion here. I guess we pep talk and hope for stress relief at some point. And someone should pep talk her as well if we have access to it. You disease? You're not diseased. That's okay. I don't know why I did that. Okay, so we'll pep talk our Crusader. Not the best camp ever, but it's okay. Ah, oh, no, I thought this might happen. Our party is not very resistant to being shuffled around. Oh, that's not bad. She can just break through. That's fine. Our Plague Doctor's the only one who's going to really suffer from that. Uh, so, yeah, we really need to focus on these guys first. No one really needs healing. We'll take the Madman down. He's the most annoying. He might even drop us a music box, man. You never know. That would be amazing. I'm also not sure how um, how far Breakthrough brings us forward. I should know that by now. Okay, well, Breakthrough should kill it if it hits. Or kill him, rather. Forward one. Okay, well, that's fine. Oh, <laughs> wow! Did you fucking see that? Did you see that though? That was awesome. Three crits. Four crits in a row. Holy balls. Look at my horse. My horse is amazing. That was fantastic. Yeah, you get all the best Weeble Stuff memes on this channel. <laughs> is that Weeble Stuff? I think it was. It wasn't Ebaum's World, right? My knowledge of like late 2000s memes is sadly limiting. Or limited. And limiting. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Okay, we want to dump. You're not wrong, Wayne. We'll get rid of the anti-venom. We'll take the gold. We'll bring you forward one. And we will use some holy water here with our Hellion, I think. No? Okay, it's not holy water. Today I learned. Oh, it gives you a quirk. Ruins adventurer. All right, well, that's actually pretty good. Now, this is a decent selection of quirks we've got going on here. Early Riser obviously kind of sucks on a torchless run, but that's okay. Maybe there are three different curios you can use that, uh, that look identical then, or maybe they just have different effects. I don't know. We will snuff out this torch when we get to this curio. We may get stressed out a little bit extra, otherwise it's probably not worth it. Okay. Bonus loot. Over the sort of thing. All right. Every time I see careful now, I assume it's a Father Ted reference. I'm pretty sure it's not. You want to go up here? No, we can just go all the way around. There may even be no more fights. No. No, thank you. Are they leather band books? Okay. What'd you get? What'd you get, buddy? Slugger! Oh man, on the wrong character, but that's okay. Slugger is really strong. If I ever want to use Incision, great! Good signs. I do wish that had been on either of the other two, though. Okay, so this is it. We've, we've done it. Absolute Madden. We'll play Grenade here. And... We will Divine Comfort just to play it safe. Stress is not a huge problem right now. We've got more than enough loot to cope with stress relief. Destroyed. Okay, so we need to do seven damage to you. That shouldn't be an issue. Oh man, you stress her out anymore. I really wanted to get one more stress. Because there's a pretty good chance, or a reasonable chance, she'll become virtuous. That'll instantly knock off a huge chunk of her stress. Mathematically, it's better for her to be more stressed out now. We'll play grenade again. I'm gonna play grenade again now. We'll stun you. Focus down rank one. Do an extra three damage to rank three. And we're gonna be good. Okay. This makes a big difference from the last from the last video. Yeah, we'll just get him get him destroyed. I probably should have judgmented her. 
But I'd rather just break through, I think. Yeah, super dead. Okay, looks pretty good. Okay, no scouting, so we can get rid of the key. We can get rid of the holy water. Take those and head down. Unless we come down here, get scouting here, and then find a secret room in this corridor. Which is not impossible, that could happen. But it's very unlikely. I'm going to be pretty pissed if it happens, but... It's okay, man, you've got to take the rough with the smooth. Sometimes you just got to go for the highest percentage play. Continue adventuring, no scouting. Alright, let's go. The great ruins belong to us. And we will find whatever secrets they hold. Alright, 11,000 gold, ton of heirlooms. Lots of experience, including a level 3 plague dodge, which is great. Last gas is okay. Nymphomania is okay. Vampiric Spirits is pretty bad, honestly. Unquiet Mind is basically meaningless. That's not bad at all. That is not a bad haul. We've got like 12,000 gold now, I think, including the few hundred we had at home. Like 11,400? Oh, 11,800. Cool. Ah. Tonight, something haunts the dark. Well, I was debating whether to even entertain the notion of doing stress relief this week, and I think that's just made my decision for me. Regardless, thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you next time.